To calibrate the pumps, they must be charged. If the pumps have not been charged within the past 48 hours, you must recharge the pumps prior to sampling. Start the pumps as they need to warm up for at least three minutes before you begin the calibration. Be sure to verify the pump flow rates in an area where you are not exposing the media and equipment to the contaminant, like an office setting. All pumps have the lab calibration information on the pump calibration data sheets provided. Set up the pump with the correct media in line, with the field rotometer as shown. The order of the components for calibration is pump, long piece of tubing to jar inlet, calibration jar, DPM cassette, GS1 cyclone, long pieces of tubing from the jar outlet, and rotometer. The SKC DPM cassette is designed for sampling in atmospheres where it is necessary to differentiate diesel particulate matter, or DPM, from other respirable dust based on particle size. This differentiation is performed using a specially designed precision jeweled impactor built into the cassette. To set up the cyclone for calibration, remove the thumb screw from the cyclone and remove the cyclone assembly from the cassette holder. Remove the blank cassette used for shipping only. Remove the inlet and outlet plugs from the DPM cassette. Place the impactor onto the cyclone and reinsert and tighten the thumb screw. Note, do not use filter cassette holder during calibration and do not use the blank cassette for calibration or sampling. The grit pot must remain on the cyclone body during calibration. Place the assembly into an airtight calibration jar with an inlet and outlet. Tighten the jar lid. Then connect the tubing on the outlet of the sample jar to the sample pump tubing. Connect the inlet tubing from the jar to the rotometer. Turn on the pump. With everything sitting on a level flat surface, check the ball float in the rotometer. Adjust the flow rate by turning the flow adjustment screw on the top of the pump until the rotometer indicates the desired flow. Be sure to take your rotometer reading at eye level and use the center of the float for the value. The required flow rate range for DPM sampling is 1.7 liters per minute. Verify the recorded flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. After calibration, remove the DPM cassette and replace the nibs on each end. Mark it for use in the post calibration you will be performing after sampling is completed. To begin sampling, attach the cassette holder tubing to the pump. Insert a new cassette onto the cyclone and install the cyclone into the cassette holder. Reinstall the thumb screw and tighten the thumb screw. Attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in the back or on the side. Bring the tubing around front and attach the sample to the shirt collar in the breathing zone. Use the collar clip to attach the tubing in place along the shirt to restrict its movement. Operate at a flow rate between 1 and 2 liters per minute for a total sample volume of 10 to 1,000 liters. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump on the field data sheet. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. After sampling is complete, turn off the pump, remove the equipment, and record the time off on the field data sheet. Remove the cassette from the cassette holder, reinstall the nibs, and label the cassette. Perform the post calibration the same way you did the pre calibration, using the marked calibration filter cassette assembly. Do not make any flow adjustments to the pump, just record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. The pre and post flow rates should be within 10% of each other. If they are, Average the flow rates to determine the flow rate to be used to calculate the air volume. Affix this bag to the outside of the package. This calibration formula is located on the side of the rotometer. Take the average rotometer reading and plug it into the calibration formula where the X is to determine your actual flow rate. Multiply the flow rate in liters per minute by the total time sampled in minutes to get the air volume in liters. Record the total liters on the field pump data sheets and the chain of custody. If the post sampling rates are not within 10%, OSHA considers the samples screening samples, and if the analytical results show high levels, resampling is recommended. Then, 
Complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Please place any unused media in the Ziploc bag marked with the orange Unused Media label. This will indicate that these items should not be analyzed and will be properly disposed of by Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat 303-566-7000.